Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we obtained our eighth and final badge here in the Donut region. And in today's episode, we're going to make our way to Victory Road. So let's go ahead and get that started, guys. Now, one of the things I actually need to do is teach one of our Pokemon the HM Waterfall, which we just obtained. So we're going to go ahead and teach that to Gilligan. Luckily for us, we finally know where the move deleter is. So I can finally, you know, mix and match the moves that we need as we go. So with that, guys, it looks looks like what is this little area over here though you know once in a while i have to explore little areas that i don't know much about what is this place is this just part of darkwood town it is okay so this is just a different little road i thought there might be something hidden there you know i always like to explore the little nooks and crannies because you never know if you're gonna find a tm that's gonna be helpful with that though guys let's begin waterfalling up i know that we're gonna have a lot of battles coming up today and once again thank you guys for all your tips and your comments make sure you guys give this video a like it really helps the series and i'm really excited to get to victory road through victory road and to the elite four you know that's what i've been really waiting for and i'm super pumped we are here in sub falls cave what exactly is going on here in sub falls cave now i don't know pretty much anything about this path I know that there's a long path before Victory Road, and then I know there's going to be Victory Road, but I don't know the path or the direction we need to go, so I'm going to be going into this just hoping that, you know, we are being led down the right direction, and that we end up on the other side. You know, sometimes that's what's fun about Victory Road. I remember being a kid and just always having a difficult time with it because back then I had no idea, you know, what Victory Road was about. So I would just like run around and get lost and it was such a mess, especially back then when whenever you went into caves, you had to use like flash and all these different types of moves. Now, let's see. We can either head up river. That is not the right direction. Or we can actually take on people. Looks like we're going to have our first battle of today though, guys. So let's go ahead and take this guy on. You know, lately, guys, I've been thinking a lot about dogs and puppies. I don't know what it is. We're going to have this battle, though. As I was saying, I've been thinking a lot about dogs and puppies. It was just National Puppy Day. Also, a lot of you guys ask me about Killian, my sister's dog, quite a bit. Well, dog, I guess he was a puppy a little bit ago. He's 11 months old now, and I actually finally put up a picture of him on Instagram. So if you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description. And he's become such a big, beautiful dog. You guys would be so surprised to see him. You know, I have pictures on there of when he was a little puppy to now when he's grown into such a big dog. And he is such a big, beautiful beautiful playful dog my sister constantly sends me you know videos of him running around playing with other dogs at like the dog park or like jumping around in like lakes and it's really nice getting to see that so you know i've just been getting the train of thought like oh i want to get a dog i want to have a dog around it's something that i've always found you know really really great having a dog as company you know since i was a kid so it's something that I've really been taking into mind and I've just been thinking, you know, what kind of dog I want to get. When I was a kid, you know, across from my neighborhood, there was this little, you know, little fenced up area and there was these three golden retrievers and they would constantly come up and we'd play with them and they were so much fun and so friendly. And, you know, that's the dog that I've been thinking of getting. But I also, you know, want to mix and match my personality with a dog so that it, you know, just correlates well so that it goes well and that we're a good match for each other so i've been thinking about that too so i thought i'd ask you guys you know what kind of dog do you think i should get you know something that matches my personality because i think that always makes for a good fit now huskies are really playful and awesome but as i said my sister already has a husky you know in killian so that's kind of her thing although you know i love killian he's such a beautiful dog i can't wait to see him again i thought of just you know going a bit of a different route so it's something that I have to think about. Who's this guy, though? He's exhausted. The badge check gate. Ooh, I guess we've made it to the badge check gate. You know, so that's something that I've just been thinking to myself. I think it's always good to have pets and company. You know, definitely in the future, if I ever have a family or anything of that sort, I'll definitely want to get them a dog because I think dogs are so great to grow up with. Now, you know, no disrespect to cat people. I've just personally never had a cat myself. 
Oi, Rodri! Just a slowpoke I was looking for! I believe we're gonna have to battle Shell. So here we go, Rodri versus Shell. And as I was saying, you know, it's just that I'm not that much of a cat person. I like cats. I think they're really cute. One of my sisters actually has a cat. But, you know, I think I'm just more of a dog person because I'm a very active guy. And I like going out and, like, running around and, you know, doing these things with my dogs. And I think that's part of my personality so the cat just doesn't fit in too much into me but you know for those of you guys that have cats that's really cool too as i was saying though i want to get a dog that's gonna fit my personality well you know i feel like we all have that as i asked you guys a, a bit ago you know everybody has that type of pokemon that they're like i was saying that was a little bit of fire and ice so i do have that little bit of difference so that was just a matter of matching that to a dog you know so that's just something that i've really been thinking about i'm not even sure if i'll be getting a dog i think it's just something that that I have always, you know, wanted recently. I've just been wanting a dog to have around because I think they're so cool. Especially when they're little puppies and you can just, like, baby them, sort of. And they're so cute and adorable. And to the point where they grow up. I've always wanted a big dog, too. You know, that's the first big dog that we had in my family was Killian the husky you know and he is huge he's probably like 60 pounds at like 11 months this guy's a big dog he grew really really big i still think of him as like the little guy that would like bite my ankles and be too scared to jump off of my bed onto the floor and he would have to do like the trust jump into my arms that's still how i see the little puppy and you know now he's so much bigger and my sister tells him he's growing he's growing into a good dog so you know that's what i like about big dogs you really see the progress they go through and it's something that i really enjoy so you know hopefully maybe just maybe i'll end up getting a dog which i think would be really cool i always like to share this with you guys because it's a lot more fun to get to share like you know the experiences that are going on you know in my life and the trains the thoughts that are going through my head and it's really awesome to get to you know share that with you guys and see what you guys have to say so you know whatever you guys think you guys know me pretty well i would say so you know it's always awesome to get some comments back from you guys and see what it's all about so with that though we have gone ahead and defeated shell so that was actually quite simple and it looks like she's telling us that our team needs work. All right, Shell, we just beat you. Oh, yeah, some guy in a weird orange jumpsuit is looking for you. Okay, so apparently there's going to be someone up ahead looking for us. But what is this? Luke Bui's lab? I don't know how to pronounce that. Luck Boys? Luck Boys Lab. He's got a bed here. So this is pretty cool. What exactly is this place? He actually looks like Luke. I I'm Luck Boy. I made the hack you're playing right now. I'm trying to be brave. Will you battle me? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right, guys. Here goes nothing. Here we go. Rodri versus Luck Boy. So let's go ahead and take him on. So this is apparently the creator of Pokemon Glazed. And I got to tell you guys, that is really awesome. I did hear that the creator's favorite Pokemon is Quilava from the comments that you guys left me. So I guess it definitely is because he is also using it here in his little personalized battle. That is really cool. You know, if I ever made a Pokemon hack, I would love to have my trainer in there. I think that would be really, really cool. And we'll have to see what his team's all about. He probably just put his six favorite Pokemon. So Jolteon, Kulava, that's actually really awesome to see. I love when these little Easter eggs are thrown into the game because it's something that is really unexpected. I never expected us to battle the creator of Pokemon Glaze. So that is one of the pros to this. You know, it's kind of awesome. It's you're battling the guy that came up with this huge, you know, idea of a game. And it's actually really cool to see that. You know, they've only done that a few times in Pokemon games where you can take on some of the developers. And I think it's really cool to see that. I wish they did did that a lot more imagine if you got the chance to battle who knows just a random big guy from you know nintendo if you got to battle like reggie or something that would be so awesome in a pokemon game who knows if we'll ever see that but you know it's a good idea to have in the back of our minds with that though guys let's see if we can take down all oh, this is going to be simple this guy actually has a team looks like pretty well set up for us to just like ko his pokemon or we just have a really well balanced team all right, let's see if we can take this guy out, though. Also, another thing is, I haven't trained up our Pokemon, guys, because I know that, you know, making our way to Victory Road, going through Victory Road, and doing all those sorts of things is actually going to take a lot out of us, and we're going to be gaining a lot of XP. 
So I'm hoping that by the time we make it to the Elite Four, all our Pokemon will be about level 50. Now, I'm not too sure what all the Pokemon at the Elite Four are going to be leveled at, but I'm hoping that, you know, they'll probably be around that level. Not too much higher than 50, you know, hopefully around that mark, and we should be able to, you know, handle the Elite Four quite well. I'm actually super excited to get to the Elite Four. Whenever I go up against an Elite Four that I know nothing about, it really just gets me pumped up because I love just jumping in there and seeing which one of our Pokemon is gonna step up you know that's what it's all about these Pokemon that begin your adventure with you you know it's time for them to shine the spotlight and just you know throw them in there and you know it's their time to shine they got to step up because that's the moment that you know everybody's been waiting for with that though I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Daenerys I feel like I haven't been using Daenerys too much just for the fact that you know Daenerys is level 50 a bit higher than everyone else but once in a while in a battle like this I think it'll definitely be worth it also I do believe that by the time we get you know all the way through victory road everybody will be pretty balanced out even Daenerys so I think all our other Pokemon will have caught up in levels which will be really really good to see now it's kind of awesome to see this guy's team he's got a pretty good variety with a Porygon Z but with that guys we should go ahead and take him down so there we have it guys Porygon Z has gone down. We'll have to see what his last Pokemon is going to be. A Manectric. Oh, man. That's not even fair when I have Cheeky and Gilligan both ready to go and drop an Earthquake on somebody. You know, we're going to have to drop an Earthquake in this guy's house. I feel bad about that, guys. You know, I don't want to destroy this guy's house, but I guess we have to do it for the battle. So let's go ahead and go for the Earthquake. And hopefully that'll one-hit KO this Manectric, and I'll be feeling pretty good about that. With that, though, guys, we're going to go for the Earthquake. And hopefully that'll take down the Manectric. And there we have it, guys. Manectric has gone down. You know, I'm kind of surprised. I thought this guy was maybe going to pull out some uh, Mega Evolutions here, but I guess not. Oh, I lost. We got 2,000 for winning. And we have defeated Luck Boy. I'm sorry for taking up your time. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, you don't have room in your party. It's okay. I'll put it in your PC. With that, guys, we obtained a Quilava. Okay, very cool. I'm going to try and get better at battling, okay? In the meantime, enjoy playing Glazed. Quilava's my favorite Pokemon. I'm sorry if you don't like it. So see, it is his favorite Pokemon, and now we've actually been given a Quilava. Now, the cool thing about this is that I do know that there are a bunch of different regions, so who knows? Maybe we're slowly building another team. Let's take this guy on. All right, let's keep on going through the badge check gates. It also looks like we're going to have another battle coming up. So let's go ahead and prepare to take her on. I'm going to go ahead and put, yeah, I think Cranky's going to be a good time. I think, you know what? Let me go ahead and actually give this item, though. I need to give the XP share to Kuza because Kuza is a little bit under leveled right now. And as I said, I want to balance everybody out. But let's go ahead and actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll put Gilligan up in front. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I always get so crazy here. Let's go ahead and battle them. Okay, so Cranky actually did a really good job there. It's always awesome when we get to use our Pokemon that have been, like, just leveling up, you know. He just did it on the backside, just chilling. Let's go ahead and take Sky on. Okay, so there we go. Are we at Victory Road yet? There's a forest before Victory Road? Okay, this has to be one of the most difficult places to get to. All right, we're looking quite good. I actually did not expect for a forest to be here. So there are definitely going to be a lot of battles coming up. Let's see what kind of Pokemon they actually have in this place. <gasps> oh my goodness, an Umbreon? Wow, you just don't see those randomly, you know? I get surprised when I see these types of Pokemon because it's just not something that I'm used to seeing, you know, randomly pop up. I gotta say, keep in mind where the Umbreons are because Umbreon are really, really cool Pokemon and you never know. All right, guys, are we ever going to arrive at this victory road? This has to be the longest road to victory road that I have ever been on. Usually, it's just like a waterfall away.
And there we have it, guys. Hopefully, that will be our last of... Nope, we have another bat. Am I ever going to get out of this forest? I feel like we've been in this place for so long. Let's take this person on. Okay, let's keep on moving through this forest then. Hopefully, we, we do we need cut? Oh, no. I can't. I don't want to teach cut to any of our Pokemon right now. So, hopefully, we don't have to go down that path. Wait, you know what? Wait, another battle? Okay, guys. Let's keep on going through this. And there we have it. We have finally made it to the, the path of victory. Are we really still on the path of victory? This isn't even victory road. This is the path to victory road. All right, guys. We're going to have another battle. Brick, brick, brickity, brickity, brick, brickity. And it looks like we are very close to the Donut League. So hopefully this will be our last challenge before arriving there. So it looks like we're going to have to cross another ocean. What the heck? This is seriously such a long path just to get to Victory Road. I can't even imagine how ridiculously confusing Victory Road is going to be. I'm actually kind of pumped for it. But let's go ahead and battle this guy. Okay, let's keep on moving. And there we have it, guys. So it looks like we have finally made it to the entrance of Victory Road. It also looked like the guy in the orange jumpsuit was Michael. So next time, guys, we will continue from this point and make our way inside of Victory Road. If you guys have any tips and comments on what's coming up, make sure you guys let me know. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.